I'm really excited about this one. Uh, I really, really like to talk about this. I really want to, but I love you guys. Uh, you know, I have to start it with that to just say, you know, I love Philo. I, I, I see what you guys see. You know, I get to listen. I listen to the Philo channel and I'm like, damn, I'm like, who is that? That's great. I, I get the same feeling when I listen to other stuff. It's great. But ultimately, the fact that I get this opportunity to share it with you guys, I'm, I'm honestly like, you know, to be able to have my, I get to pray, I get to talk to God and, you know, to be able to know that I'm, you know, getting to share this with you guys, but then hearing how it's it's benefiting you guys, you know, all sorts of it. It's, it's giving you that, you know, even setting some examples to you, you know, honestly, uh, what did lending tips, lending tips said, he was like, dude, would you he, lending tips even, I was, I was surprised. He was the last person I would have expected to ask me this. And, and he said, he was like, bro, would you want to make a church? Why don't you take, why don't you take the Philo and just turn it into Philo Church? And I was like, listen, man, like I'm not, I'm no Hunter Biden, but I, I'm not going to have a church, okay? Uh, <laughs> that's a, that, that's my response to that. You know, I'm not Hunter. I'm, I'm a lot better than that. But at the same time, I don't think I'm going to have, uh, you know, that I'm not going to be, be leading it in that sense. And, you know, this is just between all of us. I love share. I just love sharing this with you guys. However, it inspires you, allows you to do stuff, you know, be positive, all that. You know, that, that's what I like. So I'm, I'm just, I'm very, very blessed to share that with you guys. So I, I, and it's a result of many, many things. So that's what we're going to talk about, one of them. And so let me, how do you, I could give you guys the main point or, no, 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 you know what? I don't know. You want good news or bad news first, ladies and gentlemen? Good news or bad news first? Tell me how you want to start this. We could, I have two ways to start this. We could start either or. Good news or bad news? Tell me what you're looking for. You want the bad news first? Okay, they love it. I love it. My type of guys and ladies, they want, they want the risk. Give me the max loss first. Amen. Just like a credit spread, right? Oh, amen. Look, you guys are smart. That's good. I like the encouraging stuff. I like the good news. Though. <laughs> but, so here's the bad news. This is what I'm going to start off on this. The bad news, my friends, is that without faith, it is impossible to do anything. Uh, specifically in the, the religious text of the Bible in Hebrews, it says word for word, verbatim, without faith, it is impossible to, to please him. It's literally impossible to please God without faith. Now, this is obviously going to rub some of you different ways, because it's what is faith, and then why? What, what does God have to do with this too? For some of you, but all in all, this is the, the, the ability of faith to be able to believe in something. So that could be faith in positivity. I've always said faith is persistence. You have faith in something if you persist. Some of you have faith in me. You show up here every day. You're building. You're working on a company. Anything it is, you have faith in it. You pursue it persistently, regardless of what happens. President Trump says a while since he's spoken to Xi. Um, there's news right now, four minutes ago. Positive Brexit news, I think. I think. So see, but faith. Faith is important uh, in every sense of the word. I mean, that's why, like, I'm giving this to some of you guys. Although the main thing, that's why, you know, for believers, this is going to hit you differently. But even if you don't believe, the idea is without this concept of faith, belief in yourself belief in something positive. Like even then, that's the whole point. Why do you think I ban people today if they're talking negative on themselves? I don't care. If, I don't care if you believe in God. I don't care if you, you agree with, with my background. You don't have to be one of the chads who reads their Bible. No, 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 no. But, but what do you believe in and, and is what you believe positive? You know what I'm saying? Do you believe that you could do more? And honestly, it, it's funny because it says it in the Bible, it leads to faith, love, and hope. And that's, that's the question I have for some of you guys. And that's kind of the reminder now for a lot of you, especially for, for some of you, you, you're in the game. You're in the game. You want to be in the game. You're, you, you believe what I believe. Everything is well, too. This is important. And this is why. That's what I'm saying. It's kind of bad news for some of you because I hope you know. It's kind of what we said yesterday. You didn't have a choice of being born. You didn't get to decide that. Same thing spiritually, whatever you want to call it. But at the end of the day right now, it doesn't matter what you do. It really doesn't. I hope you know that. That's why. That's why I'm saying some of you, even if you don't have any faith in something positive, it, it, it doesn't matter if you are, you could help people, you could serve people, you could be nice to everybody you meet, you could work hard, you could save your money, 
you could save your you, you could have a long term in everything but if you don't have belief in faith and belief in something positive you're missing the point or you're not able to fully take advantage of everything that's what it's coming down to that's why i want to remind some of you guys because literally what's the point you have all this money some of you guys are living some of you are good people great people you, you handle your responsibility, you take care of your kids, you take care of your life, you take care of yourself, you work, you do all of this, you're nice to people, but then you have zero hope in life. You think it's only going to be as good as it's going to get. You think everything is stopping right here. You really believe that because you, your faith is, is, is limited by it. You can't, you know, some people treated you wrong. It's hard for you to treat them good. You, you, you're lacking the faith to, to say that goodness, love, and positivity will rule. That's, that's why I'm saying it's bad news for some of you because how many of us are working on a lot of things and we work on so many different things, but my question is, do you believe? That's it. That's what faith is, the belief. You wouldn't persist if you didn't believe. That's, and that's the whole point. It makes Some things are just impossible without it. That's why I'm saying some of you, you're great. You don't even need to believe in God, but that's why I'm saying at one point, what's going to happen? You're doing everything. You're doing the right steps. How are you going to, but you don't, you don't, you don't believe in hope. You don't believe that you're ever, oh, that's just how it is. That's how the world is going to be. I'm never going to be able to, I'm not going to meet this person. I'm never going to get that opportunity. I'm never going to be able to live in that neighborhood. I'll never be able to, to get to that level. This is only going to be my level. Think about that. That's all just a lack of belief. So my reminder is just, understand without that belief it makes some things you're not it's it, you're not getting the fullness and why i'm sharing with this with you is, is is practicality i hope you guys know that you know even whether you believe in god or not that's kind of the point of these concepts you you, you believe in something positive it's going to give you energy it's going to keep you going it's going to push you and that's what i'm saying it's practicality practicality to not get stuck i don't believe in what i believe and hold so tightly to it because it's some imaginary friend <laughs> I hold on to it. I believe what I believe because this is what I remind myself. These are the words in my heart, the words on my mind. This stuff is what's keeping me to, to keep going. This is what, why do you, I, I believe in something better. Pretty much what I'm trying to tell you is like, if some of you, it doesn't matter what you do. If you don't expect good things are coming, you don't have an expectation and belief and faith that something good is going to happen to you regardless of what is in front of you, you're missing the damn point. Do you guys get that? I don't know. Is that, is that too straightforward? Is that too harsh? Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, spy's hitting a new high, but I hope you get that. Like, that's what I'm saying. What's the point of being nice to people if you don't expect anything in life? Is You don't expect anything good from God. You don't expect anything good of the, of the world just because some situation, you're not expecting anything good of your own actions even. So what's the point? That's why some of you, you feel sad and depressed sometimes. Because what is the point? I feel you. I've been there. That's why it's saying you got to believe that the point is something stopping you from believing. Something to your situation. It's your stupid friend. It's this, that, the TV, whatever. Something that happened 20 years ago, 10 years ago. Something is stopping you from believing. Believing bigger than what you see in front of you and what you have. So that belief is there. So find God first. You're right. Find God first. But guess what? You can't find something you can't see if you don't believe. That's why I'm saying it's belief and faith is so important. We can't even get to God if you can't believe in anything. If you could only believe what is in front of you, you're never going to get to that point. That's what I'm saying. Some of you guys, I want you to don't play it. Dude, the spy is going vertical. <laughs> it's called evidence. Evidence, well... It depends what kind of evidence you're looking for, you know? The fact that I'm alive, I take that as evidence, you know? But <laughs> the evidence is then, if you listen to the world's evidence, you're, you're going to stay in your same position. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's all it comes down to. The evidence is, is not really, uh, it's not in your favor, my friend. Uh, I hope you guys know that. That's why I'm saying this. That's the whole point. The, you know, we're, we're looking around <laughs> like, yeah, you're, that's what I'm saying. Some people you're living in a situation, you, you but it's it, it, the thing about evidence, you know, not evidence, not all evidence is always true. So, you know what you call that? It's called an accusation. You know, it could be evidence, but if it's not true, it's just, it's just part of the accusation at that point. 
So some of you have a lot more in your life, I could tell, with your skills, talents, everything else, but you don't believe it. You don't believe anything beyond that. But, but again, the whole idea in life, you won't, it's going to be, if you aren't believing in the expectation of something good and better on the way, that regardless, like, come on, you don't think God sees you every day going through your struggle? I think he does. You may not understand why he doesn't reach out to you now, and you may think this is the hardest moment of your life, but he knows what, what he knows what's going to happen. He knows, and it's, you know, we don't, don't, don't waste your time trying to figure it out for real. All I would say is just figure out believing that, you know, something is coming. The prerequisites is belief. Yes. But even then, it's just weird how belief and faith works. You can't see it. You don't know. Some of you get it or not. Some of you, you hear this, you're like, damn. Some of you, you're like, nope, I need this. And, and that's, that's just life. That's all of us. We're all different. But I, I think it makes sense, though. Because you, you've seen a lot of people do stuff, accomplish stuff, do all that. But the people, you know, it all fades away if you don't believe in more. If you don't have hope for more, if you don't hope better out of humanity, if you don't have hope for better people to surround you, you don't have love for the people around you, even whether flawed or perfect, you're going to run out. You're going to run out of energy. You're going to run out of this. You're going to run out of motivation. You're going to run out of everything because it, it doesn't matter. It'll be futile. I mean, it's even said. So it's interesting. Faith is belief. And that's why I'm bringing this up to you. It's the most important thing. And I want some of you, honestly, you just need to believe. Some of you stop. You're, 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 we're focusing on all this. Do you believe that something good is going to happen to you? That's it. I could end the philosophy right there. I really want to. I have way more to say, but I really want to end it right there. That's all they stop. I don't care about your count. I don't care about shit right now. All that matters, do you believe something good is going to happen to you? That's it. Do you believe in, if you believe that, that means you're expecting something. You either have that or you don't. Stop wasting your energy on anything else except for that right there. Every moment of the day, every time you're sitting there, you're trying to do something, you need to, that is what you need to believe, that something better is going to happen. That is it. That's all where it starts. So you could, what's the point of working and building up your skills and, and learning this if you didn't believe something better was going to happen? Do you see what I'm saying? It's a different motivation when that is in the back of your mind. Do you understand that? Tell me you won't be a savage. Tell me you won't be ready to work. Tell me you won't be ready to do it. Because you know. But some of you don't know. You don't have the faith. You're not being guided with, with a belief and a positive belief. You just got to, that's it. Something better is going to happen. Everything, trying to figure out anything else is wasted energy up until that point. I'm telling you. That's why everyone says boondoggling, is making business cards, is trying to find it. Everyone, you want to find everything but that simple concept that, hey, I think my life is going to get better. I think something good is finally going to happen. And it will, and then you'll notice it, it will. And it will happen in bunches. So that's where, that, that's the good news now. <laughs> See, uh, I'm getting to the good news now. I love it. Because this is where I told you that story the other day. And I said, every time, bro, I was getting right back on everything. And I'm like, yeah, I feel it. And I'm like, God is going to, I'm like, yeah, God, I trust you. I believe you are more fati if it pleases you. And every, right when I would say that, I would get some bull. Right away, I would get bull. Just some, 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 right, the problem I was, I stopped worrying about would come up 10 times stronger. I would get clapped 20K on DraftKings. I'll have this happen and this happen and this person and then that and then this and that, right? And I just started laughing at that point, right? I told you guys this story. I said, God, you, I said, you effort. You, are you messing with me? I was like, what are you trying to do? I was like, come on. I just started laughing because I was like, it's comical at this point. I could laugh with it because I'm sitting, I'm watching, I'm doing for, I'm doing this, I'm viewing this as a different point of view now instead of you're doing, I'm, I say, we're both looking at this like, damn, okay. I see what start. All right. <laughs> that's what, all right. I feel that's what we play it. All right. That's fair enough. Man. What am I going to do? I'll take it. More fati. That's, that's what came up. But then yesterday, I had a crazy thought because I realized blessings come in twos 
and blessings come in threes. And I've noticed that and I see, you see the tide shift. And I've been looking at it. I'm like, huh, I like it. That's what I realized. God could also in the world, the positivity, it will surprise you. Just as the bad things. Just like the bad stuff happens one after the other and it's surprising you and right just when you think it was going to get better and it doesn't and then you're like, man, I could, it's so funny and bad I could laugh at it that it keeps happening to me. You know, how funny is that? Honestly. Like, oh, I believe in God and the minute I'm like, yeah, 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 bad things just hit me, slap me in the face. That's funny. But then I realized the same thing works in the opposite. Because tell me that's not what happened to all of you with TLT and other plays or your first house, your first job, your business, whatever, that in the same exact way, you were surprised with the good things. Yes or no? That damn, something good happened. You didn't even see it coming. You didn't deserve it. You weren't even ready for it. You weren't even like, and you're like, damn, did that really just, does that account say 100? We sit, you're like, damn, just when I thought, I thought, man, Huh. Yeah, it's like, no way that just happened in my favor. Yeah, shout out to Pokemon. Isn't that funny? <laughs> That's funny. So don't forget that. That's what I remember yesterday. And I said, it makes sense with faith in this whole concept. Because then I'm like, damn, the same thing works on the opposite end. But it's just, we, we, why are we, we can't give so much credit to when it happens on the negative. Because at the same respect... Our blessings hit us in the same way where you would laugh at them too and be like, damn, that's crazy. It's beautiful and you love it. So there you go. So something made me hear about faith. This was the Bible story. There's two Bible stories. It was the story. I've told you this. It was the lady in the Bible. Jesus was walking and she was for 12 years. This lady was uh, paralyzed or she had some issue like bleeding. It was, it was, it was weird. The weird Bible, like there's even historical context about it. And there's a huge crowd. Jesus was walking through and she touched him. And that was the moment where Jesus stopped. And then he said, who touched me? You got to realize that was the weirdest question to ask back then. Jesus was a celebrity, low key. He was walking in a crowd of people. Everybody was touching him. Everybody was brushing up against him, but he stopped and said, somebody touched me. Because the difference was, it wasn't other people touching him. This lady said, if I touch him, I'm going to get healed. That's it. All she did was belief. You've heard this at church. Exactly. Exactly. You've Amen. And then there's another story. That's what I'm saying. So it was the the faith, the belief brought it out. And that's what I started thinking. I was like, we've heard this before. Then there was another one. The other story with the beggar. The beggar, blind Bartimaeus. I've, I've given you a philo on this too. She drew the faith out of, by believing she got what she wanted just simply off of belief. That's it. The other guy, he came on, but there was something I liked about him. I, I, I learned this yesterday. When he knew Jesus was there and he was ready to do it, he kept screaming. Remember, I've given you this philo. He wouldn't shut up. He was louder and louder and louder. He knew. He believed. And then right when, when, when Jesus said, yeah, come here, he threw off his jacket. I love it. Because back then, that jacket was worth money. That jacket was security. He was blind and a beggar. The jacket represented back then the government would give you a, a jacket if you were disabled so that you legally could beg and make money. You wore a specific type of jacket that would allow you security. Isn't that funny? Your own disability gave you security in a weird way. But the minute he heard, he said, Jesus said he threw it off. That's a part I've never gotten with that. And it's interesting to think about because that was worth a lot. Yeah, it's a stimulus jacket. But he didn't want to think about that level of faith, though. That belief, everything, he threw it off and went towards what he believed in. If he didn't really believe it, he would have kept that jacket on. It's money. Because the minute he threw it off, somebody took it. 
you got to think about that. They didn't say that in the Bible, but think about that. All of you, if somebody threw an in-the-money option, you'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> it was the belief so I, I, it was interesting but then here's the funny part though you've probably heard these stories from me somebody else pastor bible whatever some of you never heard it and god bless you if you never heard it i mean these stories are powerful but you hear about this stuff you hear about their stories but i'm just like you never know what leads up to it and that's what I realized was the problem here, too. So that's why I kind of, bam, I'm going to end it with medium news. You know, that lady in the Bible, when she touched him, we heard about her TLT. You see what I'm saying? That was her TLT moment. Kind of, in a way. It was her moment. That, that's all, all, this, all that story describes was when Jesus came into town and she touched him and a little bit about what, what, what it led up to, but that's it. So we don't see the whole 12 years. You don't see what she had to go through every day, going through, you know, dealing it. What it would take to, to imagine going through 12 years of no success, but still being able to make that decision. That, that, that's what I said yesterday. You really want something if that's the case. So it just gave me an interesting thought that I think a lot of us think that God moves in actions like that where we think it's like the bible where it's just like the story happens and all of your moments are going to be like her moment where all you do is touch all you do is throw off the jacket and go there it's showing it's telling us what happened and you could talk about what the jacket represented what the lady and her faith and all of this but at the end of the day there was a lot of faith and patience leading up to those moments that you never hear about so that's why I think the faith is so important. That's why I'm saying belief is so important because if it wasn't there, the point was the point the story in the Bible isn't what they did when Jesus got there, but it kind of lets you know that they did what they did because of how they believed up until that moment when the real big opportunity came for them. So that's why some of us, it's easy to get disappointed. Some of you think you're going to hear this philo, wake up tomorrow, exercise your faith on this, and then boom, everything's going to change. No, that's not how these stories worked. That's not what it, what it was in there. So that's why it's easy to get disappointed if it's not coming to fruition instantly. It's very, very hard. And without it, it's impossible. So, look for the good surprise. You'll see what will happen, but I need you to have the stamina in it and without any sort of belief and faith. I mean, order of operations, priority. That's it. You want it, put it where, have that belief. But belief isn't just the story. You see what I'm saying? Like, this isn't, oh, you listen to Philo, I believe you. You watch me make a thousand percent, you believe me. Screw that. Because that's even what, that's what Jesus said back then. He was like, you guys don't like me. He said, I fed you fish. He said, I just turned two fish into 4,000. That's why you're here. That's not real faith. That's like, oh my gosh. Faith is every single day, good and bad, leading up to it. That's what I'm saying. What did, is the belief remaining in you? And so that's what, that's what I want to remind you guys. How strong is your belief? Is it only for the moment or is it all the time? And I encourage you to have it because if you don't believe something better is going to happen, you're, you're losing. You're losing the point. You're working on a lot of stuff that may be cool, but it's not, it's not going to give you the, the foundation you need. So I don't care if it's God. I don't care if this and that. I'm saying even believe in yourself. Believe, in, believe something better is going to happen to you. That's where it starts. But it's not going to just be, oh, something better is going to happen to me. And then tomorrow, next week, I run into this opportunity. No. It means you have to learn to build that muscle every day, good and bad, whatever you're dealing with, to get to that level. But you ultimately will. And it will give you practical energy. It makes sense. And again, it's not going to hurt you guys. Only thing that's going to happen is you're going to get disappointed. If you do something, nothing comes out of it, and you put a timeline on it. That's it. That's the only way you're going to feel hustled by this message is what? I tell you to believe something better is going to happen 
and then something bad happens, and then you give up after that, you're going to feel hustled. You see what I'm saying? How long? I don't know. I don't know. That's between you and God. That's between you and the world. Sometimes you got to, that's what I'm saying. Are you really hungry? Are you really thirsty? It'll show there. It doesn't matter. Like, you know what again? You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't matter if you're how hungry. You're just give me. You're going to give me that? I'll wait here. I know something good is going to happen. If I'm on this path, you see what I'm saying? That's for all of you guys. Believe in something good. Mm, 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 mm. I love it. Gets me excited. But that, that story stuck out, though. Like I'm saying, we all think it's going to happen in these weird little small moments and events, and that's going to be our, our life. But nah, it's all about before and after. But the belief is just the key. So my reminder to you guys is your faith and your belief in yourself. And God and, and good. Like you see what I'm saying? God is love. God is good. God is in you. God, you're in God's image. That's, I hope you see the connections. But overall, just I want you to believe, you, if you can't believe that something better is coming, everything else is a waste. Isn't that weird to say? I, I hope I don't. I hate to hit you with the absolute. I hate to, to, to I, I don't want to undermine anything. But it's, I, I believe it's so, because again, I, I've seen it firsthand. I've seen a lot. It doesn't, what are you going to get? You're going to get a bunch of stuff, but you don't have a belief or expectation or hope for more or better or, or, or anything? Like, come on. Like you, and honestly, my logic is, I, you think you're going to go and like the more faith you have every single day, you're giving, sacrificing, putting all of this in and believing in it, and you think that the world if, you're, if you don't believe in God, you think the world, but ultimately God, like let's say you really do believe in that, you really think God is just going to watch you suffer every single day and let you get clapped. You're crazy. Only way you'll get clapped is if you believe it because you will get what you believe. That's why I, maybe I should have dropped that one on there because that is the counter to it. That's why I'm, I'm being very, very straightforward and specific with this because if you don't believe in better, you believe in worse and you believe in nothing and you will become that. That's the key. You will get what you believe, 100%. That's what I'm saying. Like, well, you just believe. But that's where it starts, so. Be mindful. Be, just, be, just be in the game. But take it to that next level. And, and at the same time, make sure your efforts are, are worth it there. But like, like I was, I'll say back to it. Don't think it's going to go. It's not going to be wasted. But that's, that's your belief in it, though. All right. So I love it. I think it's going to help. I think that's your reminder. I think you to watch your moments, but don't focus on your moments only as the moment. Think before and after. It took a lot more leading up to that moment. That's going to change everything. And you won't make it to that moment and you won't get that opportunity if you don't believe that it's ever going to show up. And you won't know how to react if you never believed. Have an expectation. I want you all to expect something big for you. I'm not saying to play. I don't care what the hell. I don't care about the damn stock market. It's with a bit, expect something big for your life. If you can't do that, what's the? why are you sitting here? I'm not the guy to talk to then. Don't listen to me. For real. Fuck that. What are you with the long term ain't going to help you? The stocks, you, you, if you don't expect big, I, this isn't for you. That's it. So I hope you have that expectation. Because the real question is, if you're not expecting that, I'm worried about what you are expecting. For real. Because I have, I have faith in you that you'll get what you expect. So, God bless you all. That is your reminder, and that is your philo. Make sure you guys are subscribed. We're live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before open. Drop your thumbs up on the video. Second link for the Nightly Watch is the main channel. First link for the Scream Lords Bootcamp and Real Estate Course. You're on mobile. Press high chat. X out the chat. The thumbs up button. Follow me on Instagram at the Trading Fraternity. Get some faith, baby. That's all it starts with.